so today I have another small businesses slash Etsy video review haul for you and this is a company which I have wanted to buy from for so long it's one of those companies where you've had like a basket full of stuff just for ages and you're waiting for the time to time to pounce and I finally just took the leap especially since I have recently watched a video by Moose Ham who is also the creator of Exo Umbra, which that video is coming soon <laughs> um, and also by Heavy Metal Mama so I watched her videos and I was like do you know what I just need to do it I need to take the plunge and then I had an idea so the company I'm going to be reviewing and hauling today is Scarlet in Chains and they've definitely been on my radar for a while I came across them first after watching back one of my own London Edge vlogs in the background I could see this kind of table display with all these necklaces and I was kind of thinking uh oh why did I not notice that while I was going around? It was kind of like in the background of one of my clips. And I was really gutted that I hadn't noticed it while I was there. But anyone who's been to London Edge know it's just like a big frantic haze of just so much overwhelmingness. So they first came on my radar a couple of years ago. Um, and as I said, it's been one of those stores where I've been just like meaning to try them out. So I've been in the market for some new jewelry recently and I thought I want some jewelry that's gonna last. I had my fairy hoop earrings, which I have worn every day for the last year or so. And what really bugs me is I've actually got like 10 pairs of them because <laughs> they tarnish so quickly and even though on the website it states that they are some amazing type of metal that's not going to tarnish for someone who wears their jewelry every day i needed something that was going to last now scarlet and chains do pride themselves in making high quality stainless steel jewelry that's not going to tarnish over time and i do tend to either stick to stainless steel sterling silver or like full silver if that makes sense so I was like okay I can confidently buy from this site and know that the jewelry I'm gonna be buying is gonna last forever without having to worry about it going brown and that is when I came up with my bright idea of having my onk necklace modified so if you have been around or if you have seen any of my past videos you'll know that I have always worn a little onk necklace I have literally not taken off for seven-ish years i have always had it on i bought it just as a solid silver pendant from a really small little crystal store which has like moved and packed up and gone since but i bought it from this little store when i went to the store the lady literally had just come back from egypt and she pulled out this little like velvet package and unrolled it all and inside was this onk necklace and i was like yes i want it so bad now she did say that it was from egypt and i have no real reason to believe it's not from Egypt but I have seen a really odd like knockoff versions of it in like really cheap metal from AliExpress so I'm not sure if it was something that in, you know like when you go to some countries you find the same thing all over the place I'm not sure if it's because of that or what but anyway I bought this pendant and I wore it on like a black cord for ages I wore it on like a slightly thicker chain that one went brown I wore it on a long chain and most recently you would have seen me wearing it on a really thin sterling silver chain now since buying these two chokers from tiffany's literally i just feel like the thin chain it just did not work so when i noticed that scarlet and chains do do custom things if you message them i had the idea to see if they could convert my unk pendant into like a chunky gorgeous necklace how i went about this is first i went on their store and had a browse through just in case they already offered an option that would work for me and i just couldn't find anything i did however find this unk necklace that they sold and i really liked the style of it but of course i wanted to use my own unk so ultimately when i had worked out that basically it wasn't something i was going to be able to do at home i sent them a message and basically pitched my idea i showed them what i was currently working with which were these two thicker chains and my thin chain um, i sent them this picture just so they could see how thin the chain was that my aunt was on and you can really tell that it just doesn't really all fit together it just looks really mismatched um, and then I sent them a few dimensions and measurements 
and basically explain what I wanted. Now, from my initial message, it took half an hour for them to make the initial response and then for us to continue on the conversation, find a solution, send all the measurements and work out basically what I wanted as my final piece and go about how I was gonna do this. Now, it did mean I had to send my unk away, hence why I'm not wearing it right now, um, which was kind of terrifying for me. I'm sure anyone who has anything sentimental, think about your most like sentimental piece of jewelry and then putting it in the Royal Mail and just process that for a moment. So um, they did recommend I sent it special delivery, which I was going to do anyway, but it was quite nice to know that they were like on the same page and they understood that this was a sentimental piece of jewelry. I paid for the shipping to, for it to be sent there, but they paid for the special delivery shipping back, if that makes sense. Um, but I did order a few other things, so it all kind of came in one special package <laughs> if that makes sense so i sent this on tuesday at 3 p.m today is thursday and it has just gone 1 p.m so it is less than 48 hours since i sent my unk away and i have had it back i got it back about 11 o'clock this morning i have been wearing it and i've just literally taken off i quite honestly can't get over the fact that i packaged this up two days ago at lunchtime and it was back to me by today morning but they did kind of walk me through the whole process they let me know when they received it they showed me a picture of it once it was assembled and then they let me know when they had shipped it yesterday and gave me a tracking number and the whole process was so smooth and alongside my custom order i did order some other things which right let's get into it so basically it came in this gorgeous red packaging i was like oh, when it came through it is so gorgeous and you can see as well that it is a bubble wrap kind of thing now i have opened this up like full disclosure i've been wearing this jewelry all morning <laughs> um i've opened it up i've had a look i just wanted to check that everything was there and it was and it's amazing and i can't wait to show you so it was all packaged very nicely in here first off i'm going to show you the business card as always i leave literally everything down in the description so if you need to find anything go down there i will also leave separate links to everything that i show you today in order as well so here is her little business card this is their little scarlet and chains logo on the back of the business card it says scarlet and chain handmade stainless steel alternative and bdsm jewelry which is customized to your needs it then has their email address it has their website also their etsy store although originally i put everything in my basket on the etsy store i ended up actually purchasing it through their website i found the website absolutely very easy to use it was really easy to navigate and search and just everything was very smooth if not easier to function than I find Etsy is sometimes. I will just say now although um, there is mention of like 18 plus content there is nothing on the website which is particularly adult content nothing that's really going to offend anyone or shock anyone um, but there are some products on there which could be used for adult use if you get me. Okay so that is their business card let's get into it so everything came in these gorgeous like satin packs and on them you can see it has this lovely like shiny design of their logo and it says scarlet and chains at the bottom um and then they're and they're there oh <laughs> la, 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 la. and they're these little kind of draw drawstring ones so let me just have a quick look see because i have four little bags here to find out which one is the one i want to show you first okay so this one is my unk so this is the kind of custom piece which i had done you can't buy this exact piece on the website because the unk is mine but you could do something similar if you had a pendant that's very sentimental and you want it gothed up a little bit so here it is. I am so excited. Here is the finished piece. As you can see, it is a big change from what I had originally, and it definitely meets my chunky chain preference much, much more. So this unk is the one that I always wear and then everything else is supplied by Scarlet and Chains. So first impressions is that it has the most amazing weight to it. When I was watching Moose Ham's video, she was talking about how like it's quite comforting to have weight. And I think it's very similar to having like a weighted blanket. It just really kind of grounds me having a lot of weight on there. And <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of weight on there by the time I've put all of this on. Um, but I have been wearing all of this <laughs> all morning and been absolutely fine. 
So the chain itself is really nice and chunky. You can get various different um, thicknesses and chunkinesses of chain. You can get some thinner ones um, and some thicker ones. Now this necklace, and I have them all here on my phone, is based on a necklace which is called the Mini Lunar Day Collar. So if you were to purchase it, which will be the first link in my description, it would be the same just without the onk, but I will also so link the onk version as well if that makes sense so it's a nice thick chain on it has this o-ring which is kind of one of their staple parts most of their jewelry does have this o-ring design in it the o-rings do come in different sizes this one is a really nice um size to put your finger through um so again i'm just kind of regurgitating what moose ham was saying but it is really nice like when i was wearing it this morning i did find myself kind of fiddling and stuff with it without any fear of it like breaking or popping open so what they have done is cut the original loop so this kind of smaller loop off of my original pendant obviously they checked with me first and i was like go ahead do what you need to do um so they cut that original loop off and replaced it with this one and then attached it to the o-ring which attaches to the chain either side now i absolutely love this kind of design where the chain is either side of a pendant or an o-ring or however the fastening is just because it means when you wear it it will always stay central which is kind of one of my selling points for like these type of necklaces because they pretty much always stay in the middle whereas if it's on like a moving one which this unk originally was the unk would stay in place but the um chain would like all move around and i'd end up with the clip at the front which was really frustrating so talking about the clip there are two options when you are buying these necklaces um this type of clip is the cheaper of the two options there is this clip or there is a padlock which does come with like a um, allen key and stuff to open it but for ease and for the purpose that i'm wanting these for the clips were the best option for me um and they were the cheaper option as well now these clips make it super simple to put on because you literally just clip it over like that you're not trying to like fiddle with lobster clasps it feels strong it feels sturdy and it feels easy to clip on which is really really good i have talked on this channel before about how i have slight vitamin d deficiency which means my fingers can get very painful and putting on little clips and things i just don't have like the ability to do with my fingers anymore which is so frustrating but it is so nice and comforting to know that i can open this so easily and just click it back on just with such ease and no pain and just it's very simple and it's very easy and i really appreciate that and it's also i mean i own 600 700 necklaces uh, and i don't have any necklaces with this type of clip on and it, i'm not gonna lie to you it's like an absolute game changer now hanging down from next to the clip there is this little dingly dangly do and this little circular tab has the scarlet and chains logo on which i think is just such a lovely detail and not something you would normally get if you were just buying kind of a wholesale item it wouldn't have this lovely kind of like little personalized part on it oh i've got so much glitter on my thumb um but yeah as you can see the chain links are all really sturdy and everything just links together so so nice and neatly now you guys know i'm not the most gentle person when it comes to my jewelry i like to wear it all day i like it to be able to survive everything and be sturdy and not have to worry about it breaking which is one of my original fears of having my unk on the thin chain because i just constantly had a fear that it was going to break i was going to catch it on something now i'm putting up no resistance in the fact that these are so sturdy i could just yank this all day <laughs> and it would be absolutely fine i think that does also tie into the other purposes of this jewelry from like a jewelry point of view it just makes it so good and also if you're using this more practically it means that it's going to kind of withhold and be able to cope with most things now I will show you the simplicity of putting this on because it is the quickest necklace instalment that I have ever seen. I was literally pulling these out of the bags and like looking at them and putting them on, just stacking them. 
and I just absolutely love how this came out. I honestly could not be happier and just the biggest, biggest thank you to Scarlet and Chains for taking my somewhat muddled vision and turning it into perfection. So I'm going to take you down slightly so you can see, but here is my new and improved Ankh necklace. So these are my three kind of everyday necklaces that I would always wear together um, and as you can see it fits really nicely, it has the perfect stacking effect. I love the addition of having the o-ring in there, I just feel like it ties the whole design together. I love the fact that this is now just going to say central, it's not going to start like wandering. I am just absolutely so enthralled by this necklace. I just no words i've seen so many videos i've seen so many hauls i've seen so many pictures over the years and never just never was i expecting like such amazing quality and weight and just customer service as well i mean like seriously to be able to produce this and get it back to me within two days of me sending it in the post just literal mind blown but <sighs> no more needs to be said. This cost me £24 and they very, so very kindly um, offered to install and sort out the Unk free of charge, which was just absolutely insane. And I'm just so, so grateful and I love it so much. Oh my goodness, right. Now, one of the things I absolutely loved about this company is how inclusive they are. So bear in mind, when I bought this choker from Tiffany which if around 500 pounds it only comes in one size so when I bought it it didn't even do up and I had to pay loads of money to try and get it resized and it's still a little bit on the tight side like sometimes it lifts up a little bit <sighs> literal insane whereas Scarlet and Chains they offer every size you could need for any kind of thickness of neck so if I was buying this like as a choker I could measure my neck and get it like however I wanted it to sit whether or not you like your chokers to be choking you or even longer like this one they offer all the different sizes that you need and you can fully customize it to your size they do also have a video which i will link down below as to how to correctly measure your neck so you can get the perfect size choker for you unless you are looking for a longer one like i was here so i ordered this one in a 21 inch chain so this one is 21 inches this is a middle size for what i have bought i have bought another one which is 25 inches okay let's Let's swiftly move on to should we do the 25 inch one because I was talking about that one a second ago this is the 25 inch one which I bought which you can already see is slightly longer the chain however is slightly thinner but still just as durable now this one is called the stainless steel moon choker which as you can see it definitely isn't a choker in fact i can fit this over my head even when i have like buns in my hair although undoing it is really not an issue when it has these handy dandy clips now i'm not going to go through everything on all of them because all of them have the amazing clips all of them have the little tab um, this chain is slightly thinner and the o-ring as well is slightly smaller as you can see for difference in diameter and from this one there is a little moon I thought that this was so cute when I saw it. I absolutely loved it I love anything moon anything sky and space related it also matches this tiny little crescent moon I have on my bat ring. So I just thought it was so cute, so simple. Um, and although they do sell this necklace like without the moon, I just liked this added charm. And I will add as well, they do do lots of different jewellery like this with a charm added to it. Um, and also some of them have acrylic charms too. I wanted a necklace that I could stack with my... Um, Unk one so that would be slightly longer so I could wear them together and you could still see both of them now just say um, I had ordered this and I didn't like the length of it perhaps I thought actually now I've got it I would rather it to be kind of straight up against my neck or I thought actually I'd rather it to be another couple of inches longer 
I don't think you're prepared for this. Scarlet and Chains do offer l l l lifetime, lifetime resizing for free. You just have to pay the kind of shipping costs. Other than that, they will resize it for free. So if you get something, I know Moose Ham, again, I will link her video below. She ordered a choker that was just slightly the wrong size. So that is not money wasted because she is now able to send that back and have it resized for free. I just find this such a special part of their service. And for me, it has like a really kind of deep respect to it because as someone whose weight has fluctuated like up and down their whole life she can never stay one size <laughs> my neck is always changing sometimes i've before had it where like this choker has had like so much room it sat more like this one and like i've had it where i literally had to take it off at night because it was so tight whereas i know with scarlet and chains if i was to get a tighter choker or if i was to change my mind about any of these I have that guarantee, like a lifetime guarantee that I can have it resized and altered. Maybe in 10 years time, I want my unk again to be tight against my neck, how I used to wear it. And it's so comforting to know that like what you're getting isn't a final piece. Although saying that, I mean, these necklaces aren't gonna break your bank and I'd be more inclined <laughs> just to buy a second one in a smaller size. But that's just me being a necklace addict so so this stainless steel moon choker cost 25 pounds and it is absolutely amazing so that is the longest necklace i got and then the third necklace which i bought is called the micro chain heart day collar again in one of these gorgeous bags and this one is on the same chain thickness as the moon one that i just showed you but this one is slightly smaller i believe i got this in 18 inches um so this is the shortest one i got um because i wanted this one to go kind of in between here now this second tiffany one i have is also 18 inches so they are pretty much the same size again same clip same little dingly dongly thing um but clips on super easily as you can see um and it is pretty much the same length as my other one but because it has a dingly dangly bit it does fall just slightly below which means i can wear all five of these necklaces in one go and you can see all of them and they stack beautifully and this is going to be my look this is gonna be my everyday jewelry <laughs> for every day now. I am just so excited. When I bought these other two, I thought I could just sometimes wear them, but now I know they stack perfectly. <laughs> I'll probably just wear them forever. <laughs> um, so to show you this one up close, this one is slightly different and it has a slightly more, um, s <sighs> feminine isn't the right word. It has just more like an elegant, I guess feminine could be the word. It just has a slightly different vibe to it, I feel. So this is the Heart Day Choker. As you can see, it does have a little diamond Swarovski crystal heart in there, which I have a heart on my Tiffany Choker, so I felt like it would go quite nicely with that. And as much as I love spooky and gothic things, um, shiny little crystal hearts are also like the other side of my personality. And I loved that they could fit both sides of my personality in this one necklace. So you can completely customize what color heart you can get. You get a red heart, you get a black heart. There were so many different color options. I went for this kind of light bluey purple one, which is called Virtual or Virtual vitrol vitrol light i think is what it's called um but i will leave that <laughs> down in the description but you can get like so many different options i think as well i may end up buying a version of this with like a, a really deep blue because now that i have seen it it really reminds me of the heart of the ocean from titanic which is just like amazing <laughs> so i may end up getting kind of this in that color as well i did also like which um i couldn't tell from the pictures when i bought it but the other side of the heart is just kind of plain silver so you could wear it either way and have kind of two different effects if you wanted to maintain that whole silver look you could wear it this way um, or turn it around for a little pop of color 
Now this is the only one as well where the o-ring is attached to the chain rather than the chain attached either side of the o-ring so again I just liked having that little bit of variation um, but it still will kind of sit in the middle because it does have that that kind of grounded weight. Now they do also do these gorgeous little crystals as earrings and I <laughs> have also been in the market for earrings as I said at the beginning of this video. So I am proud to announce I have got some new everyday earrings. I bought two pairs of earrings because I don't know if you guys remember but I have for the last year or so been wearing a long dangly bone from this earring. The bone was meant to be stainless steel from Spooky Box Club but we know Spooky Box Club lie about their materials because my moon I mean my my bone my bone had gone brown so I was looking for another second earlobe piercing and ended up buying some sorry I was looking for a new third earlobe pier piercing and ended up buying some second earlobe piercings if that makes sense so I have my ears stretched I'm also currently in the process of upgrading my plugs so I have just bought some brown like dark dark brown mahogany plugs with amethyst in so please just excuse the current ones I have in uh, my my original wooden ones just died so I've had to buy, like revamp those buy new ones and while I was at it revamp my other earrings so this is the first pair which I bought and this is the pair which um it's hard to see because I have them both in this is the pair which I'll be wearing in my second holes now these are absolutely gorgeous they do sell them on um regular lobster hoop hooks hooks you know not lobster hooks fishing hook kind of ones they do sell them on regular kind of earring hooks but I am a sucker for like any type of of hoop as you guys know um, and I absolutely just loved the style of these so these are called the eclipse earrings so it does look like a little moon situation going on and these were 15 pounds along with the other earrings were the same price so all of their earrings are around that bracket um, and as I said you can get earrings like this but with the little diamond crystal things in them as well um, but I just really like the simplicity of them and again I thought they'd kind of go with everything as I said please excuse my plug these are absolutely gorgeous they were so nicely packaged I'll show you the package in a second um, but I decided just to leave these in because they are just so comfy to wear they are on really sturdy and like nice feeling um, earring hoops so here is the hoop it's very similar to the ones which I wear kind of every day um, in terms of the type of clasp it has so it's that kind of clasp where you line it up and pop it in and then it it's really secure and these are the kind of earrings that i just love because i don't have to worry about them coming out whereas i find um with my ears i don't know if it's because they're stretched but the kind of fishing hook ones just pop out really easily so i really like how secure these are um, and they have a really nice weight to them they're not going to be weighty enough that they're going to like tear your ears or anything but I love stuff where it has enough weight that you can feel it but it's not annoying just a regular size I'll just go through your kind of average piercing and they clip on nice and easily and they're just like not gonna go anywhere and I just think they're so gorgeous now on this side I have got two pairs of their earrings in I really like this kind of double hoop look my plug on this side is significantly smaller and that is just one of my pet peeves in life is just the fact that I didn't stretch my ears up at the same time. I stretched this one up when I was younger and I started this one like way too late, but it's a working progress. One day they will be equal. Um, but I've got three piercings on this side, which after lockdown, I am gonna get another one here. I have not had a piercing since I was literally 16. Um, so I will be getting a second one here so I can have the same on both sides. Um, but I love this double hook, hoop, I mean double hoop look. So as you can see, this earring over here has a little moon on it and you may recognize this moon because it matches my necklace. Oh, they're so cute. I just loved the fact there was a matching pair. Um, so again, you can choose with this hoop, hoop if you want it as a hoop or if you want it as a fish hook kind of a deal. Um, and I'm pretty sure the fish hook is like a hook and then the loop and then the moon, if that makes sense. So you still have that kind of O-ring look. Um, but as you can see, I'm wearing but as you can see I'm wearing them separately so that one is the same as this one and then I have the one moon one now a pro to me only wearing one of these moon earrings is that I can actually show you the packaging before I ripped open like an absolute fiend 
um, but these are the cards, this one was in a little shiny thing too, um, that the earrings came on. You can see the other moon earring is in there waiting for me to get this one pierced and let it heal. Um, but this is the little kind of earring card that it came on. It has a little picture of some of their kind of jewellery and it says scarlet and chains there and then this is stapled this bit of card is stapled and it has the two holes which the earrings went through i thought it was really nice because not only is the not only are the earrings nice and secure on there but it means you don't have any of the backing bits sticking out and therefore catching on potentially getting broken in transit so those were the five things which i bought from scarlet and chains i am such a happy customer and i am just so excited they're bringing out like new stuff all the time and just their collections are so gorgeous and now that i've updated like my everyday wear jewelry it means i can like <laughs> now go back and have a bit more of a browse for like like occasion wear and jewelry to go with specific outfits they do also do belts and harnesses and like and cuffs and bracelets and just <sighs> the options <laughs> um but yeah i am just so so pleased with that i cannot just express how lovely the people are who own scarlet and chains they're so helpful they answered all of my messages as you can see the customer service was just literal nothing like it absolutely amazing the shipping time literal unbelievably fast i'm not really sure how that was humanly possible especially in a pandemic as well i am over the moon i just i think i have like found i am just in love i've just found my shop my element my go-to place now i am so happy such such a big thank you to scarlet and chains for doing this custom thing for me with my aunt because i i <laughs> i have had this for so long it is so sentimental to me please don't cry over necklace but um yeah like it's so sentimental and i find it really hard to like let things go and let things be changed and improved and sending that off i'm not gonna lie to you was the most terrifying thing that i've done in a long time talking to them they gave me so much trust and just the whole process just i was i felt secure the whole way through i was not worried once and yeah just I am like really grateful that they were able to offer me that service so that I could like bump upgrade to this version <laughs> of my Ankh necklace and yeah I could not have picked a better company to do it I am just so happy and so in love and so grateful and yes go check them out I'll leave all the links that you need down in the description below along with links to Moose Ham's video and also to Heavy Metal Mama as well so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are I hope you're enjoying the shade unless you've got vitamin D deficiency and I will see you really soon bye